lots of people getting older can mean losing your hair, gain a few more wrinkles. But while we try to reverse the signs of aging on the outside, many of us tend to ignore the signs that we're getting older on the inside. Now in tonight's 9 p.m. Extra, Carrie Pena shows us why one Scottsdale doctor is looking at your DNA to help reverse the hands of time. I work a lot, I travel a lot, um, I've got a lot of different stresses, two teenage sons, a husband. Valley mom Pam Misho is always on the go, so staying healthy is a constant struggle. Very tired, fatigued, knew I wasn't eating right. Pam needed some help and turned to naturopathic doctor Sunil Jain at Rejuva Health and Aesthetics in Scottsdale, where he's turning to DNA for the answers. It sounded like something that really made a lot of sense to me. Dr. Jain is using what's called a telomere test from SpectraCell Laboratories. Patients simply get their blood drawn and based on the blood and cell samples, it can determine just how fast your body is aging. Telomeres are uh, basically the ends of your chromosomes, okay? Almost like uh, a shoelace, the end of it has a little plastic top to it. And as we age, the length of the telomeres start to decrease, okay? So the faster we're aging, the faster the, the telomeres are replicating. And each telomere can only replicate for a certain, certain number of times before they stop replicating and then eventually die. Dr. Jane says when that process to the cells increases too rapidly, that's a sign a person is aging faster than normal. Could be medical conditions or they could have absolutely no traditional diagnosis being made uh, other than, you know, kind of some generic symptoms like fatigue or um, hormonal imbalances, uh, nutritional deficiencies. In Pam's case, her cell age was 20 years older than her actual age, which is only 50. Can I reverse that? Can I at least get that as close to my real age? You can basically address those issues very easily by making some dietary changes, looking at food sensitivities, looking at nutritional deficiencies, managing oxidative stress. Pam's treatment plan included everything from diet changes, exercise, supplements like fish oil, and IV nutritional therapy. For nothing else, I mean, you could make some significant lifestyle changes and improve that score. Pam feels a lot better since starting her new transformation a couple of months ago. While she hasn't been retested just yet, she believes this is a step in the right direction. It really is just about trying to do some easy things to keep you going and keep you feeling good and keeping you at the age that you should feel. Interesting stuff. Insurance does not cover the cost of this test. So for more information, please log on to our website, azfamily.com.